So Nike just released the latest version of the Infinity Run with a new midsole, the React X Infinity Run Flyknit 4. And on feet, these shoes were a hit. As I was running in these shoes, it was so comfortable and I thought about the Invincible 3. And my mind was like, ah, has the Invincible 3 been dethroned as the most comfortable running shoe from Nike? And that's the essence of this review. This came in at $160 in the US. Here in Saudi Arabia, it's selling for 1,000 Saudi Riyal. And these are still selling in the US at $180. And here in Saudi Arabia, it's about uh, 1,150 Saudi Riyal. So there's $20 difference between these two shoes. The essence of this review is to compare these two shoes and see which one is better. If you want to get this now, will you go for the Infinity Run 4 or still go for the Invincible Run 3 with an extra $20 cap? By the way guys, it's still Dr. CY, the running dog, and you are welcome to this channel. I thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you are new to my channel or you have been seeing my videos and you are not yet subscribed, I urge you once again to please subscribe to the channel for unbiased reviews of the best running shoes and more. Back to the review. I don't know about you, but looking at these two shoes, I think the Infinity 4 now looks better. You know, they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. You might think differently, but for me, I think these are just awesome. So let's go to the next point, which is the weight of these shoes. Of course, here now, the Invincible Run wins. The Invincible Run, in the same size, US 11 or EU 45, weighs 334 grams. Whereas these are weighing a whopping 364 grams. So that's about 30 grams heavier than the Invincible 3. The Invincible wins on the first point, which is the weight. Of course, the Zoom X delivers fantastic cushioning with low weight, whereas the React is a heavier foam. With the React X, there's extra bounce added, but didn't lose much of its weight. Let's go to the next point, cushioning. Both shoes offer max cushioning in that they both completely cushion the ride in any foot strike technique. However, the Invincible 3 feels softer underfoot if you like that trampoline feel. The underfoot feel of the Infinity 4 is, however, more subtle. In response, Zoom X is still the king. Zoom X compresses nicely and rebounds faster. Now, the React has improved. The response from the React X has improved over the previous foam, but it is still behind the response you get from the Zoom X. Also note that there's some kind of stiffness to the sole of the Zoom X Invincible Run 3, whereas this is much more flexible. This stiffness adds some snappiness to the ride you get from this. So if you want explosive run, of course, the Zoom X still wins. The ride from both shoes are quite nice, smooth, rolling ride. They are both perfect. I don't think I have to pick and choose here. The ride you get from these two shoes are just fantastic. Now let's go to the next point, which is comfort. Now this is where it becomes very interesting. On comfort, this here is the absolute winner for me. There is no hard part to these shoes at all. The React X is very cushy underfoot, not as soft as this, but superbly nice and comfortable. And then the upper of these shoes is also soft, molding nicely to the feet and super, super comfortable. Now the upper in the Invincible Run is rather abrasive, you know, not as comfortable as the upper of the Infinity Run. I've only put about 20 kilometers in this, but I've put in over almost 100 kilometers in this one. But the upper still feels a little abrasive, not as smooth or as comfortable as this. And also talking about the overall comfort, if you look at this, you see loads of padding along the collar and the heel counter and the tongue, you know, the tongue nicely padded and soft. You know, so there's a lot of ankle comfort and support here. On the Invincible Run, there's minimal padding on the collar and heel counter. The tongue, though, is nicely padded and comfortable, but the support and comfort you get from the upper here cannot be compared to what you get. This totally outclasses what you get from this. So based on the upper as well as paddings on the Infinity 4, the Infinity 4, of course, has the better overall comfort. Talking about lockdown, this is a no-brainer. The Infinity Run 4 wins hands down. The lockdown on this is just perfect. The tongue is gusseted with an elastic band that holds the midfoot down perfectly. And there's also extra padding on the collar and heel counter to also give extra support and superb lockdown to this shoe. So you get a sock-like fit. Whereas there's some kind of wobbliness, especially on the heel. No matter how well you tie it, you still get some heel slippage on the Invincible Run. The midfoot lockdown is great, but the heel lockdown is poor. I think it's due to lack of extra padding here. There's nothing that holds the heel down, coupled with the fact that this is also somehow firm. Now, the next point is stability. Again, the Infinity Run wins. This gives a much stable ride than this. Now, the arch support on the Invincible 3 is superb. You know, if you watch my review of that shoe, I mentioned it that the arch support is just perfect. You know, nicely molding under the foot and helping you to roll nicely as you run. 
But having tested this, I now realize that there is something better still because this is just perfect. You know, it's just there unobstructive. It's just the right shape for my feet. It's great here, but it's better here. Now, next thing, both outsoles are great. You know, they even look similar. So durability of these outsoles, I think both are fully covered with rubber. But I know that both are going to give tons of miles. I put in almost 100 kilometers in this. Even the spikes are still there. What I appreciated more on the Infinity Run, which I mentioned in its uh, review, is this added rubber on the inner part of the forefoot here. Because for many people who tow off with evasion on the big toe, this will give them some added protection. Because many people, their shoes wear off here quite faster than the rest of the shoes like mine. Now, let's talk about the breathability of these shoes. Well, I'm inclined to believe that this is more breathable. When I ran in these shoes, I felt more wind through my feet than I felt from the Invincible Run. In summary, we see that the Invincible 3 is lighter and bound. I think those are the two areas that this still stands supreme over the Infinity Run. However, when it comes to comfort, I think the Infinity 4 has just overthrown the Invincible 3 in becoming Nike's most comfortable running shoe. That is from my own perspective. It is also more breathable, but it is heavier and less bouncy than the Invincible 3. So if you want a shoe that can give you a little more pace, of course, it remains the Invincible 3 because it is bouncier than this. But if you want that absolute comfort on your recovery runs and all those things, even as all day wear, this is more comfortable. It also looks better. So in the end, the choice will still depend on you because each of these shoes has something different to offer. You know, this is an extremely comfortable shoe, gives you more bounce and with an extra $20 top of it. Whereas this one is also an absolutely even more comfortable shoe with less bounce, but superbly comfortable and you can save $20 from this. So the choice here will depend on individuals. Of course, you know, when we review all these shoes, everybody's choices will always be different. You know, some people will just want the comfort they get from this. You slip it on looks amazing and you take your run at a gentle pace and enjoy yourself on the ride why some people we want this which will give you the comfort and add some more pop to your run so guys that's it about the infinity run 4 and the zoom x invincible run flying it 3. don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel for more unbiased reviews of the best running shoes and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video